Hey guys, in this video, we are going to get ready with the complete front installation in Windows 11 while facing some of the challenges which might occur, but we are going to resolve them step by step. So the first thing is get ready with the right tool and by that what I mean is getting ready with the Visual Studio Code. So how are you going to do that? So first we have to go to the web browser and here we have to search Visual Studio Code and do not confuse it with Visual Studio. That's a different tool. We are going to use Visual Studio Code. And right here, just click the hit the hit the first link and just download it for your own operating system. And here it is going to be Windows. Just download it. I already did that, but I'm going to show you the other steps. You just have to download it. After downloading and installing the Visual Studio Code, what you have to do is open Visual Studio Code. It will ask you some like really basic steps, the theme and other stuff. Like you can just go through it. Then here, the important part here is going to be the extension section right here, which you can see. You just have to come here and you what you have to do is you have to search Flutter. Fine. It will pop the f the first extension going to be the Flutter, which we have to install in our Visual Studio Code to make the Visual Studio Code to familiarize that we are working with Flutter, so it can like it show the different colors, the indentation, and other rules which Flutter follows from the Dart. When you hit the install button right here, what it will ask you eventually to install the Dart, and you yeah, like you 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 can first install Dart by searching right here. You, you can do that or you can just go with the searching with flutter itself so this is going to be the part which we have to like look into the visual studio code now the second thing is we actually have to use an sdk like how we're going to like run flutter how we're going to do it so for that we have to go and search here flutter sdk so the first link you you might hit it or you just go with like searching with flutter in the web browser you can do that right here if you want to like choose a really specific version of the release if you want like, if the requirement of your project is going to be like that you can do that fine if not just go to the main website that the flutter have is the flutter.tape then here you have to hit the get started button then it will like pop out you to the web page where it's the downloading links are available just select the operating system which by the way ours is windows 11 so you just have to download it from here this link it will start to download okay here are the other steps which are also being written which you can follow fine so but we are going to like do it on our own in this video so just leave them right here now the next thing is, uh, if you have any other tool for your unzipping the zip file, since it's a, it's going to be a zip file, so you can use 7z and you can just download it from here. If it's your like, I think it's going to be probably your 64-bit machine, so just download it and install it. It's going to be like really easy installation. So after downloading the SDK, what we have to do is we have to extract it out. Fine. We, we just have to extract it up from, right from here. You can open it with 7z, right, like this. And you just have to extract it out, which I already did in my hard disk. Right in the drive D, I have done this in a Flutter folder and Flutter, and this is the entire thing which came out from that zip file. Okay, so after doing this, what you have to do is like, you can like, other thing is going to give the path for the flutter fine which like uh, which we are going to see like why 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 i said that to you when you hit this command prompt here you also have to give this path into the variable since windows operating system doesn't know that you already have a sdk right here of the flutter fine so what we are going to do is we are going to like copy this and we're going to into the windows we're going to search environment and in the path variable if you don't have any path written right here which i think probably is not going to be the case but if you don't have just like you can create a new path variable right here just write the name and the value which we have provided which we have copied from here see i already have 
like I already have pasted it right here so I don't have to do it again fine so here it is flutter flutter bin and right boom so this is going to be the important part and why it is like why we did that because the system doesn't know that you have flutter SDK and where it is even if you have so in case to run the flutter successfully in your command through your command prompt or maybe in your system to know the system can validate that flutter is there the required files are there it can run so the command that which we are going to do let me just zoom in flutter doctor it is going to tell us that what are the problems which we are facing so the problems that the problems which are facing right now is android studio the directory part and the other thing is the android sdk is not available fine so these are the two big problems which are facing right now so the other thing is we're going to install android studio now okay for that you just have to search android studio just go to the first link maybe go to the install like now coming on to the home page of the android studio site we just have to download the android studio which i already did so just uh, just like let's just save a little bit time here so i already did that what i have to do is now just move right here and start the installation process of android studio fine next next but like i'm not going to like install this in my c drive which you can do by pressing the next and going to the further steps which i will show you but i'm going to like install this in my hardest so what i'm going to do is like i'm going to make a new folder in my new drive i'm going to name it as android And here also I'm going to create another folder since I'm actually going to like for an upcoming step which we're going to do is downloading an SDK since it's the requirement of it's the main file which runs our operating system right, for Android to run our apps. So for that also I'm going to do it in another directory right into the same directory. What I'm going to do right here is going to create Android Studio directory here so my system will know okay so this is what we have to select fine if you want to do this in a like in a different location you can do this by doing this if not just go by the step the the location which it has already by default have ah okay so it is now installed completely and we are going to like start the android studio right away from here So the first thing is that it says that it has missing SDK. So we're going to download it right now. Good. We're going to download this in our D drive and write an SDK. I've already like done that before doing this like multiple times. Since I have reinstalled Windows, I'm going to do this right here. Fine. What I'm going to do is like create a new directory here, SDK, and like selecting this. Okay. And like let let it just do the download thing fine so it has started downloading and like just wait for the download and the unzipping part like let, let's just wait for a while so this is the screen which you will pop out when you press the finish button like at the end of the installation of the SDK so what are the things that which we have done like we have installed visual studio code we have downloaded and extracted out flutter sdk it's like it's working since flutter doctor is now working we have also done giving the path to the flutter sdk to the windows environment variable so that it can interact so the os can interact easily with the flutter the other requirements were the android studio since flutter doctor has told us that it wants Android Studio and an Android SDK, like both of the requirements for that, so that it can use the virtual dev machine and all, all this stuff for the development process. So we have like literally did everything. And now let's see, let's check out like whether our installation is complete fully or not. Like what has happened? Like what Flutter Doctor is saying to us. 
So let's go to Flutter, Flutter here, and then type CMD, like this below one of the CMD, and then Flutter Doctor. Let's see. Oh, okay. So it is not able to find the Android Studio, and there is like a little bit of error regarding to the Java version also. I some of the other errors which also include which i also faced is regarding the android tool chain which i actually had did way earlier so it has actually fetched some files from the previous version of the windows it has fetched but like this problem is going to be faced by you and other problem is going to be the sdk location and the other problem is might be the android studio location so what do you have to do like how 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 will it resolve this how are we going to like resolve this Android problem also? So let's type flutter config and then press enter. Okay, so what has happened here? So here are a bunch of other commands which like shown to us for our help. Since the command we have not written completely, the flutter might have thought that like they might have forget the what the command is. So it's like a help part provided by the flutter the developers itself yeah so the commands that which we are going to use are the two main right here is the android studio directory and the android sdk to like configure the path for both of these two directories and since we know that where these two things are we can do this by doing the same thing which we write i have just pressed the upper button like the top arrow button so the flutter config and the command is something like this which is right here so you can see we have to like give the android sdk is android studio directory path here so we're going to like write in android studio and the directory fine and like here here here's a, here's a little catch here since most of you might have installed the Android Studio right into the C directory, right? What is going to be a little bit problematic is the space between these two Android Studio folder, fine. So how are we going to like resolve this? Because like, let me tell you, like this is going to do a problem and it won't show you that there is a problem. Like this gap is the problem. Like what it does, like it will like flutter this command, the command prompt will like won't take this part of the string like but we have to tell that this is the same part so we're going to use the double quotes here it's right here and then press enter what it will do it will just set the path for our android studio and for the android sdk also we also can do the same thing since it's in the, the same directory so android sdk right here and here we're going to just change this to android sdk as just prescribed by our command and just hit enter fine the value has changed and it has set the path for this so let's just close this and just uh, open the flutter command prompt for flutter folder and let's do the flutter doctor let's see what it tells us fine everything is just just fine the, the, the second thing is the the, th the third problem which you might face which I did face earlier in my Windows 10 is going to regarding the license it's going to be the license it's going to be the license part so for that what we're going to do is certain things right here because it's going to like going to create a problem because what happen what is going to happen here is uh, flutter is going to like provide some command prompt uh, inputs from here and send it to your sdk in the android sdk since we're doing the android development on windows so to avoid all those problems all those conflicts we're going to go to the sdk manager and more options let's just get it open fine after opening up of the android sdk what we're going to do is going to this tab SDK tools really specifically and here we're going to like download and install a bunch of the tools that which we're going to need the most important one is going to be this one Android SDK command line tool 
and i think you should install that other thing is like you can do it and like it depends on you whether you want to install those thing or not but like this is going to be the most important one android sdk command line tools it's going to like help the android sdk to read the uh, inputs coming from the command line from the flutter side fine so just have to install it it's going to ask for an accept or decline just hit the accept radio button and then the install it will install it and then you just have to press okay that's it that's that's the part which you have to do the other part is going to be the regarding a problem with the licenses and for that what we have to do and since the license problem is will going to show you up regarding with the sdk since it's not able to like comply with the license of the sdk what we have to do is we have to go into the sdk folder and, and write right here then we have to go to the tools good and then we go to the pin and here we have to hit the command prompt cmd and here since the problem is going to be regarding the licenses with the sdk part of the android so we have to prove the licenses since flutter is saying that the license are not appropriate say he doesn't have the signatures for do the use to use the sdk android sdk to use the emulator and other stuff so we have to like get this done by using this command sdk manager hyphen hyphen licenses and just hit enter it will like fetch the repository and it will like ask you for accept accept you just have to press y enter y enter press y and then enter like i think three to four or maybe five times and it done like that's it that's it that's all you have to do like like see all sdk packages licenses have been accepted 100 percent computing updates done that's the final thing that's i think going to be the final error and the final problem which you might face you have to go to the tools and pin and just prove the licenses right here and then like as usual you can just close this command prompt go to the flutter folder again and just completely verify that what doctor is saying we just have to look right here command prompt let me just uh, Flutter doctor and in the end everything is going to be green and that's it that's that's the entire installation process of flutter i hope you enjoyed this video and if this video has helped you hit the like button and just do the subscribe